Okay, just a quick one. We'll be talking about the anatomy of the foramen of Winslow. Foramen of Winslow. Anatomy of the foramen of Winslow. So um, the question is discuss the anatomy and applied anatomy of the foramen of Winslow. Okay, so um, let me take my screen down. Uh, this is the foramen of Winslow. We are talking about and from here, what is a common um, knowledge you could pick up here? Definitely, you could just know that the foramen of Winslow is um, in the intestine, in the abdominal cavity, uh, in between the abdominal organs and um, all that kind of raw knowledge, all right? So, the anatomy, we said that the foramen of Winslow is a vertical slit-like opening, which opens into the greater and the lesser sacs, all right? So now, what are the boundaries? We said that posteriorly, uh, the foramen of Winslow is bounded by the inferior vena cava and superiorly by the caudate lobe of liver. Okay? You could see that superiorly uh, by the caudate lobe of liver. Okay? Inferiorly by the first part of the duodenum. Okay? That's where the small intestine starts off. All right? So inferiorly, um, the foramen of Winslow is bounded by... Uh, the first part of the duodenum, then um, anteriorly by the hepatododenal ligament containing the portal triad, okay, um, the hepatododenal ligament containing the portal triad, okay, um, it is um, three centimeter in size and situated at the level of the 12th thoracic vertebrae, okay, that's an extra knowledge. All right, you should just keep in mind these boundaries. Inferiorly, IVC, superiorly, caudate lobe, inferiorly, first part of duodenum, anteriorly by the hepatododenal ligament. Okay, then what is the applied anatomy of the foramen of Winslow? We said that infections spread from the greater sac to the lesser sac through the foramen of Winslow. Okay. And surgeons are advised not to carelessly incise into this area as careless incision could be very bloody, okay, since the boundaries of this foramen are highly vascular um, structures, okay. That's where we spoke about the inferior vena cava, um, the hepatic artery, and um, the portal vein, okay. Uh, the, the, the portal, all those uh, hepatic artery and portal vein are contained in the portal triad. So you could see that everything around the foramen of Winslow is like blood versus blood versus blood versus, okay? So if you incise it anyhow, bro, you have some um, internal abdominal bleeding, okay? So with this, guys, I'm, I'm done with the foramen of Winslow and its applied anatomy, all right? So see you guys in the next tutorial and bye for now.